Welcome back to Project Castaway, everybody. This is episode three. Uh, as you can see, I spent some time off camera expanding the base. I made it a little bit bigger because we were going to need the space. And I added this upstairs area, which it won't let me put walls on here, which was my original plan. So that kind of sucks. Um, we added some... Uh, this tool rack where we can put our tools down uh, at workstation. Which is good because randomly you'll get stuck as you saw in one of the episodes before. But now if I get stuck in the middle here, I can just reach over here and grab that. And it actually puts me outside because I put it backwards. Because uh, I'm an idiot. But there's that. Also, there's an issue with this table, the prep table. I don't know if anybody else has seen this issue before. Uh, I'll put it up here while I'm talking. Uh, whenever you go into the table, it yeets you into the middle of the ocean. So, yeah, be careful whenever you're using this table. So also what I did was I decided to expand on the raft a little bit. Um, because I was getting sick and tired of carrying logs from one side of the place to the other. As you can also see, that this place is like, there's only a few trees left here. Um, so I added some log holders here just to help with that. Plus, we can actually go to other islands, get logs, bring them back, and actually continue to expand on this base. First thing we're going to do today, because it was uh, I was informed in the comments that I left Wilson behind. So we're going to go back over, see if Wilson's still there, bring him home, set him up. Because there is this, um, wait, where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, farming. Uh, Scarecrow Wilson. So we're actually going to put him on there, and he's going to guard our base while we're gone. And then I think what we're going to do after that is go explore that island there. So let's get going over to the Wilsons. You know, what I really should have done, because whenever before I put these log holders on here, I moved these to either side so I could see through the sail to see where we were going. And I added these so, like, you can't see anything now so i should have put these sideways and put them you know like one over here one over here of course i think they might be too wide to do that but that way i could actually see through them either way this is fine we can still uh just jump up here and check everything out all right we are oh don't don't fall off come on come on so one thing that also sucks about this raft is that <laughs> you gotta jump up on those okay we're here let's see if uh see if wilson's here Hopefully he's still here. Things don't seem to despawn, but I don't know about these kind of items. So we put him underneath this, right? No! He's gone. Is he back out there? I wonder if I swim back out there, if he'll be back out there. Um, do I have a weapon? Oh, I got a bow now. There's that. I'll use this. Made myself a gold axe. Just in case. Let's see if he's still out here. He is not, but the pirate flag still is. Wait, where was that at? Just saw it. There it is. Interesting. Huh? Harvest that? No. Well, that sucks. Hopefully there's another one around, like kind of like the pirate flags. I can't imagine it's the only one out here. That you just have to find them in this one specific spot. Damn. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and head over to the other island and see what we can find. I'd probably go for air. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. I wonder if they'll eventually add, like, a motor to the game, a boat motor. Because it takes about from our island, from our base, to this island where we just looked for Wilson. It takes about three or four minutes real time. And, yeah, it takes a while. And it doesn't really seem to speed up no matter how many sails you have. I could try adding a third to this to see if it goes any faster. But at the moment, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be uh, making a difference. So there's that island over there to our right. It's that one there, but the one that we're going to go to is that one out there. This is the one across from us. So I probably should have looked around the beach there to see if I could find anything, but that's fine. We've scoured it before. Are we getting close, boys? Ooh, is that a plane? Right there. I'm circling it. Right there. Looks like a plane. Like the tail end of a plane, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. First thing we're going to do, we're going to set up a bed. Some place we can come back to rest. So yeah, first things first. I probably should make a spear. Because, you know, spiders and things. We do have this, which we haven't really used yet. But. 
Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up for a, a bed just to have it. Oh, we've got some friends over here. The two, the Komodo dragons. That's great. That's awesome. We'll take these back to the boat here in a bit. Yeah, as much of the stuff that we can get back to our base, logs and such. I'll have to set up some log holders over there as well, just to have them. I don't think there's anything in the book to carry the palm fronds, which kind of sucks, because, well, I don't know if it really sucks. We've got a thousand of them back at base. They're just kind of hanging around because we haven't really been using them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just save it real quick. That way, if anything crazy happens, we'll be here. Then I'm going to take out one of these Komodos because we need the skin for the water pouch uh, for the, the leather. So Let's see if I can hit this thing. Oh, wow, that sucks. Trash arrow. Gotcha. Gotcha. All oh, three arrows. Nice. So nice. Cool. Go ahead and just skin this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and set up through here. Oh, there's the plane. It's right there. Holy crap. Look at that. Sweet. Is there anything in here? That all quiet. Can I hit this? Nothing there. Oh, I can't get through there? Oh, there we go. Cool. There's nothing in here. Interesting. Well, what the heck? Wait, can I get... What's that? What's that? There's a blue over there. I can't get out. Ah, okay, let's go back. There's something blue out there. Can't seem to get out of that way. Can I get out over here? Cool. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Ooh, aloe vera plant. Can I chop that with this? So that's what we would need for, like, the sunscreen and stuff. We'll take that just to have it. I hope there's no, like, Komodo dragons over here or anything. But... One more aloe vera. So what's this blueprint? Mulch sack. Let's jump up here. Just to kind of get out of the way of everything. Mulch sack. So blueprint. Natural fertilizer made of palm leaves and manure. Oh. Cool. I don't know if we're going to need that, but... That's good to know that there's blueprints around, though. Oh, I, ju I just remembered. So in that note... Also, I'm very tired. I need to sleep, apparently. The note that we had, um, the radio tower. Was it the radio tower one? I, I'm not really sure which one it was in, but it was said something about submarines as well. It might have been the uh, the tape, but it won't let me play the, the second tape, that we, or the first tape that we found. So, should we sleep? Uh, it's 2.45. I should probably go back in a bit, but I want to search around a little bit more. Uh, hopefully we don't die. But... So there's the plank. What's that? What's that? I don't like that. The heck is that? Holy crap. Scorpion. Great. It scared me. It sounded like it was up in the air, but it was nope, skittering along the ground. Yeah, they said there was a submarine somewhere around, I assume, the island that we were, that our base is on. Maybe we'll have to swim around the island to see. I know that in the demo there were like the black jaguars or something panthers maybe that's what they're called panthers i'm pretty sure that they were in the game but i don't know if they've kept them or not oh oh there's a person here stupid bird also a blueprint stuck to him what's this plane dashboard interesting so are we gonna have to build a plane to get out of here must be attached to a plane chassis Okay. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to build a plane to get out of here. We're going to have to build like a runway as well. Or will it be like one of those planes that you can take off from the sea? Snail. Oh, sorry. That <laughs> Moved you backwards there, buddy. Sorry. So it doesn't seem to be snakes, which is really nice. Because those things in Green Hell really sucked. I'm just hiding in the bushes. The bushes. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to just finish searching around the jungle area. And then once it gets dark, I'm going to search the beach uh, after we sleep because we're going to need to go back and sleep here soon. And if there's anything cool, I'll bring you guys in on that. Nope. 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 Die. Where are you? Gosh. 
Well, there's multiple. Don't like it, dude. I'm they seriously give me cold chills. I hate it. I can't see him. Hey, jerk. Wow. Oh gosh! Nope. Okay, so we've recollected the blueprints. And I can't exactly remember where that jerk was. I think he was down over here. I think we were coming back around this way. Towards the tr uh the the, the, the plane. Whenever he attacked us. So I'm just gonna take it kind of easier. Yep, there he is. Okay. Come on. Nope. Nope, not again, not again, not again. Oh, I'm out. Nope. Go away. Yeah. Jerk, you go away too. Come on. Come on. You're kitty, 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 kitty. Okay, so I am just slowly dying, I think. No, I'm not bleeding. No, I'm okay. All right. Harvest you. Give me all your goods. If it's like anything else, once it's dead, it's dead. So hopefully it doesn't come back, but I can't be 100% sure on that. Where are you, little bastard? Jerk. Okay. All right, so we can actually search around down here to see now. Hopefully there's not a Komodo or anything just waiting to touch us. Ooh, what's this? Peppermint tea bag, lemon tea bag, ginger tea bag. Ooh, nice. Some metal sheets. I'm looking for, yeah, there we go. Metal barrel. So I'm gonna make one of those metal barrel fires so I can cook food over here. So this meat that we got doesn't go bad. That's what I'm gonna do, then we're gonna sleep. Plus, this nice little light right here will help us find our way back to our sleeping spot. Which you like. Right there, that's fine. Wait. We need a metal sheet as well, that's fine. Uh, add materials. Two metal sheets. Okay, there were some over here, I think. And then after this, we're going to sleep and then we're going to just look across the island to see if there's anything. Uh, we'll do that at night. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. I might, since I can't just sleep through the night, I have to literally wait until my energy gets low enough to sleep. Um, I might just collect everything that we find on the beach and just bring it over here so we just have a central location where everything's at. Boom, there we go. They need to add actual storage crates, like storage bins that you can open and close. Because as of now, we made this one back at the base and you can just place stuff in it, but it moves around. So I don't think that having it on the boat would do us much good. So it looks like this, uh, I'm not gonna swim around there, especially at night, there's probably sharks out there. So let's go back and go around the other way. There's really nothing other than the typical loot. I was hoping to find something like along here, like a cave or something, but doesn't seem to be anything. Luckily, the sun's about to come up, so. Is there something that we missed here? It looks like part of the plane that I didn't look in. However, is anything like the top up there or wherever it's at? It's not really going to matter. Yeah, looks like the engine. Schmalstick. Oh yeah, okay. So we're just right right down from that. Okay. Yeah, nothing here. Let's check up. Ooh, there is something here. What's this? Ember seasoning. What's that? Seasoning used to improve meat. Well, that'd be great, but we can't use our freaking meat prep table. Because every time we do, it uses us into the abyss. Okay, so I looked around for a little bit and didn't find any other blueprints up there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to cook the meat that we have real quick so it doesn't go bad. And then we're going to go back to base. We're going to start making the leather for the water pouch. And then we're going to look for that submarine that's supposedly around that island. Hopefully we can find it. I think that island over there, the one that looks like it's got a lighthouse on it, 
I think that's the one we're going to go to next. Probably in the next episode, though. Hopefully, I mean, if we can't find the submarine that it was talking about around here, then we might go search that island today. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. All right, let's go. Ow. Jeez. Okay, let's come back here to the tanning racks. Hang, hide, hang, hide. Cool. Got those going. Oh, yeah, I also added this little uh, thingy here just to just help clean this up a little bit, which still didn't really help much. Seagull beaks. You get them from catching the seagulls there, which is... Those things work great. Like, having four of them, we never go hungry. It's fantastic. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and dump off a bunch of stuff, then we're going to go ahead and take a look around here. Actually, we're going to wait until it gets a little bit brighter outside before we start looking for the submarine, because it's going to be impossible to see. All right, it is nice and bright now. Sweet. So I guess we'll just uh, look around the island. I don't really think I want to um, take the boat because it's difficult to see underwater with the boat. I think we'll just take a nice swim. Also, hopefully it's not too far off the shore uh, because if that's the case, that's really going to shook. Looks like something. Is that it? Man, it's definitely not a rock. I thought it was a rock at first, but nope. Looks like it's... Yeah. Interesting. Oh, it's marked with stuff. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So where are... Oh, gosh. Can I go back down? Go back down. Go back down. Thank you. I need to make sure there's no sharks. Okay, cool. So where are we at? We're clear on the other side of the island now. Okay. That's fine. So, can we get in here? Is there any way to get in? Hinge. It's already busted up a little bit. Oh, nice. Can I hitch it? There we go. Cool. Oh, you go for air, a for air, a for air. I'm really surprised there's no sharks around here. There we go. Go down, go down. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, what do we got here? Canned beans. Painkillers. Nice. Soda pop. Repair manual. Okay. Can I get through these? No. Okay. What's this? Rotten crab body. Oh, crab must have died in here. <laughs> what? How, did, how would it have gotten in? Anyway, it's fine. Okay, cool. Well, we found it. I thought there would be more, but let's go take a look and see what the repair manual has. Here we go. Radio tower. That's why I was having trouble finding it, because it was inside the radio tower thing. This needs to be, like, brighter. This little blood stain or whatever it's supposed to be to, like, let you know where things are at. So, I found this item. Radio tower repair manual. Oh, it's a repair manual for the radio tower. The radio tower repair manual I can use to fix the radio tower. Okay. While reading the manual, I realized that I will need the following materials to fix the tower antennas in the power box. First antenna, 15 metal scraps... 15 screws, one heat sink, one circuit board. Okay, power cell. So that's a, we found the power cell from uh, this random junk alongside the, uh, on the beach. Also the screws and stuff, we've also found those as well. Metal scraps, I got a bunch of that. Um, three copper shards, heat sink. I don't think I found a heat sink or a circuit board, but we can check. Oh, there's another one here. So microprocessors and two circuit boards? Yeah, we don't have that. Um... Yeah, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that stuff. Um, so the scrap along the beaches, the different things that you can break up that are like air conditioners or... Obviously there's like an old sofa. This isn't going to do anything for us. Probably. Um, yeah, we're going to need to keep an eye out for that stuff. Also, yeah, I tore down like all of this. <laughs> this place is so barren now. It's crazy. Okay, yeah, so we've got a cooling unit, an air filter power cell and screws and bolts not a ton um we're probably gonna have to go back over to the other island and look around for some more stuff 
Because th there was a couple things, but I can't remember exactly what all was over there. Um, there are probably some stuff over there that we never tore down either. I didn't realize that stuff was going to be that important. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to make all new tools. I'm going to make a better spear as well. And we'll go back and uh, start scrounging around for that stuff. Oh, foam. Leather. Oh, we got leather from that? And screws and bolts. Nice. Okay, so that's way more than I thought we were going to get from it. So now we can... Oh, we could have just done that the whole time. It didn't look like a leather couch. What would I assume to take that? Okay, so we've got three leather. So we should be able to craft the water pouch now. So where's that at? Water pouch. Need one rope. Okay, that's fine. Boink. So where does that go? Okay, so it's right there. It looks like a little kidney. Gross. Um, so if we just take this and... percent fresh nice okay cool we have water let's dump all this stuff off then we'll get going over to the uh back over there and see if we can get all these components and stuff that we need for fixing the radio tower okay let's jump up here put these down and let's go searching for random stuff where was that there was an air conditioner around here somewhere so we have the power cell we need so we've got we can get copper shards heat sink circuit board microprocessors Okay, but right here there's a broken fan. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of this. Scrap metal, plastic, another power cell. Okay, our inventory's full. Maybe we should build a little box on the boat and just see how it does. What I think I'm gonna do is just drop off this kind of stuff here. So this, this, I don't really need the rope. I brought it just in case I needed to build like another ax, but it looks like we only need the hammer. We don't need rope for that. We'll drop off this foam here too. We'll remember where it's at, right? So there's quite a few things here though. So this is good. Oh, plastic, great. Yeah. Great, 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 great. Okay, I did it. I just did it. I'm gonna go ahead and just <laughs> dump stuff in here. So it, you can cycle through things, but it doesn't really work very well. It just drops them in there. Oh, I don't wanna put that in there. Uh, nope. Let's pick that back up. Okay, so next, cooked meat, no. Screws, yes. Screws, power cell, power cell. This isn't good. Look at the boat. Look at the boat! This is a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do that. Okay, let's get all this stuff back up. Okay. That's fine. Wait, where'd that go? I lost a spring. Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? I think it's gone forever. It's fine. Uh, let's get this boat back to the... Uh, back to the shore over here. <laughs> Oh, geez. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to throw everything down right here instead. Then we can just pick up the stuff that we that we will need. I don't think to, I don't think I said we needed springs, right? I think the springs are just extra. Ah, there's the air conditioner. Literally right next to the boat. Air filter. Nothing good. Ooh, got a refrigerator here. Hopefully this will give us some circuit boards, maybe. I assume we're gonna have to find like a computer or something for a circuit board, but I haven't seen anything like that yet. Like a laptop. Great. Okay, some screws. Let's pick all this stuff up before it just disappears or goes somewhere crazy. All right, found a ruined microwave. Maybe this will have a circuit board in it. Doubt it, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Heat sink, power cell, microprocessor, nice. Cool, that's definitely something that we needed. Um, how many of those did we need? Two, okay. So how many did we get out of that? Just the one, that's fine. So, microwave's good. Very, very good, good. Broken stove. All right. We're not gonna be able to carry all this stuff back, or we're already full again. One item, like, fills our inventory up like crazy. Metal scrap. Heat sink. 
Do we need a heat sink for anything? Yeah, one heat sink. Nice. Take that. Thermostat. Don't really need that, but, you know, take as much of this as we can. There's still a couple more things. There's another couch. I think it's a couch. That's a rock. I'm an idiot. Ooh, a laptop. Nice. Plastic. Microprocessor. Circuit board. Oh, damn. What can I drop? Uh, we'll drop these. It's fun. Circuit board. Power cell. Okay. So we needed one circuit board, three circuit boards, two microprocessors. And we've got two microprocessors and two circuit boards. Please be another laptop out here. That would just be fan freaking tastic. Just an old broken cabinet. Let's see what this gives us. It probably just sticks, maybe? Screws. Cloth. Interesting. Okay. So I wonder if we can put stuff in on the radio tower before we actually have everything. Okay. So I just loaded up on an absolute crap load of metal scrap. We've got the heat sink that we need. We have the two microprocessors, two circuit boards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and put all of this up in there and just see what happens. I, I assume that we can do it one at a time. What we're going to do first is we're going to do the power box. So 20 scrap, 12 screws, two processors, two circuit boards. And then we'll work on the other ones after that. So let's go ahead and get back. We left all of our stuff right there on the beach so it's easily accessible. Unfortunately, as you saw earlier, putting stuff in this box is a no-go because it just makes the boat move like crazy. So, kind of sucks. Having like a storage bin or something would be great because being able to transfer everything back instead of having to go back and forth would just be a huge time saver. Oh, okay. So, it tells you now on these things. That's what they are. Tells you what you have. Okay, so you can, it looks like you can just add stuff. You can just throw things in. But since we've got all this stuff, let's go ahead and, so power box. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's switch away from that. Okay, add material. Cool. So the power box is fixed. We still had a bunch of this stuff as well. Okay, so we need copper shards and screws for that. I wonder if we got anything else for this one here. Nope. Okay. So we still need the one circuit board, but okay. Yeah, we could do this. We could do this. Hell yeah. Let's let's get back. Let's get back down. Okay. Cool. <laughs> So we just need to find another laptop and we'll be good to go, I believe. Okay, I took a little bit of a break. <coughs> okay, I took a little bit of a break so I could go and get some food in real life. And we're going to be back at it with finding this last laptop so we can get this finished. This is what I want to do this episode is get the radio tower finished. Now, I don't ever remember seeing a laptop over there. Um, so I think what we're going to do is go over to the island that's over here and we're not going to explore the island we're just going to look around on the beaches and see if we can find one because i want to save that full island for like a, a full episode so we can explore it let's go over here and get to this island and just see if we can find that last uh circuit board that we need is that a cave over there hold on hold on hold on looks like a cave on our i've never been over here this far looks like a cave Oh, it's not a cave, but it's a, uh, a bronze shield. Uh, nice. Let's put this back at the base real quick. That legit looked like a cave from the uh, from the water there. Sweet. We should. Uh, can we actually place this on? No, we can't. Okay. Put that right there. We've got this back here as well that we stole from the other island. We'll just uh, put this right here next to it. We'll just collect all that loot. Okay, let's get back to it. We are almost there. Oh, oh, okay, I think we are there. Can't go any further. Let's get this turned around a little bit. And let's go up here and get these sails. Can I please jump? Why can't I jump? Thank you. Boop, boop. Okay. Cool. Hopefully we can find this laptop. It's the only thing that we need for the radio tower. There's a old boat here. Anything on it? No. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to search around the uh, the beach to see if we can find anything. 
because I don't want to search inland. So, uh, well, let's see if this lamp would... I don't think this would have anything in it, but let's go ahead and just break it down, just in case. And we'll leave all the stuff on the beach that we don't need. Uh, power cell, screws and bolts. Okay. Yeah, nothing that we really need. But yeah, like I said, I want to search the entire inland in the next episode, because looks like there might be more here. Because it looks like there's the... Uh, lighthouse over there yeah I'm just gonna whoa look at all this stuff okay I'll look at that stuff too it's on the beach that counts right okay yeah I'm gonna leave all this uh all these goodies here that we just got so what is this oh there's another jaguar over there okay keep an eye out for that so there's some cannons it looks like some like really really old stuff then it looks like obviously there's a plane there anything in here can I break this Sweet. Another pirate flag. Not like we really need it, but it's there. Okay, that thing looks like he's going away. Who's this? Sticky note. Okay, view note and journal. Okay, let's check this out real quick. The beginning of the end. Date February 12th, 1985. Three months on this cursed island and it feels like a lifetime. Morden Pole Corp sold us a lie. What was supposed to be a straightforward resource extraction gig has turned into a descent into madness. The secrecy is suffocating. We aren't told what we are really doing here, and every move is monitored by watchful supervisors. It's like being in a prison with no walls. As a technician, my job is to keep... Some, to keep the equipment running. No easy task, given the conditions. Most of my... Time is spent on a cramped research ship or on the new platform tower they're constructing. I've only set foot on this shore a few times, and it's frustrating not to be able to enjoy the beach. When the storms aren't raging, this place looks like a paradise. A cruel joke considering our situation. There's a digit written at the end of the note zero. Oh, so this... Oh, so that's going to be for the um, the box at the top of the radio tower then, because it's got like a five-digit code or an eight-digit code or something. Okay. The stupid jaguar there. Doesn't look like there's much else over here. Um, should we try to kill that? I don't know if we should or not. I think we'll be okay. Wait, what? Journal page. Lieutenant J. Thompson's note. Oh, well, we're not going to have a choice. Run, 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 run. You jerk. Oh no! How did he see us? Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, this jack wagon's right in the middle of all this now. I want to see if we can, like, jebate him. Oh, there's a there's blueprints in there. Oh, I didn't realize that before. Let's just take a look at these. Shark repellent? What? Sweet! Wait, right. where would that be at? Shark repellent. Oh, there it is. Right there. Craft repellent. Coca and pepper. I think I found both of those, actually, while I was uh, searching meat smokehouse. Oh, nice. Smoke meat to cook it slower and make it last longer. Sweet. Okay, I need to get that note off of that plane, but I've got two guys right here now. Should have got my bow. I wonder if I can... He's coming. Missed me. Oh, no, he got me. Come here. You just make it too easy for me. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Jerk. This also turns away whenever... I think, like, whenever it's low health, it turns away and tries to run away from you. Which is also kind of neat. There we go. Okay, was there anything else in here? No. So it's almost a good thing that we died there because I would not have seen those blueprints sticking out of that. Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Cool. Let's come back here. I'm going to stay on this rock just in case. I had to kill the spider when I first got here too because, you know, that's a thing. Um, jump up here and we'll take a look at this note. Lieutenant J. Thompson's note. I found this note. Note 1, the crash. April 15th, 1944. My name is Lieutenant Jack Thompson, an American fighter pilot. Today, during a mission to Japan, a fierce storm scattered our fleet. 
I deviated slightly, hoping to find a safer route, but ended up crashing on this uncharted island. Oddly, I feel a strange sense of relief. War already took my brother. My grandfather perished in the Great War. I couldn't bear the thought of my pregnant fiance, Mary O'Connor, losing me too. I hope we find a way to get off this island back to Mary. I will continue searching and write more about my ordeals as a way to journal this chapter of my life. Okay, so there's going to be more of those. Well, obviously, there's 9%. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm going to drop all of the... Uh... What the hell are you? A black widow? Anyway, also, if I find tires, I might expand the raft, too, before we leave. Okay, so here's a microwave. I forget what we got out of the microwaves earlier. I can't remember. I don't think there was a circuit board. No. Power cell. Okay, so it looks like there's a TV here. Oh damn it! <laughs> Hit it once! Okay, let's uh... Hit this, then we should be able to craft a uh, another hammer here. Okay. Cool. There should be a circuit board in this, right? Yes! Cool. Awesome. Cool. We got what we needed. We'll leave the rest of this island uh, for next time. Just kind of want to see if there's another tire. Because if there's one more that I can see within range here, we'll expand the raft. If not, it's not a big deal. Because uh, we had an odd number. Oh, there's another plane right there. <laughs> Wait, that looks fresh. Why is it? Yeah, this is still smoking. Is this our plane? Did it wash up on the shore? Can't do anything to it, but it's like a balloon. All right, let's go. I'm going to look over here real quick for a tire. See if there's one over here. Aha! <laughs> That is, I think you only need two, right? Two per base, so we can make one more. Put it up here in the middle. There we go. Nope, I don't want that. Cancel. Cancel. Moink. And this one was over here. Then what we can do is actually expand on this. Maybe make some more uh, storage on here. Eventually. But yeah, there we go. Cool. Because right now it is, it's not like crammed for just one person, but feels kind of crammed. But basically I want, I want these to be up the front so I don't have to keep jumping over them to do the sales. That's what I want to do. All right, we're back. So what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do, what do we don't need that's actually in our inventory? Wrong button. I keep screwing that up. Okay. We don't need glass. So we got the circuit board. We got screws. We don't need plastic. Um, heat sink. We don't need that. Let's put that in there. We don't need these power cells. I think we need... Let's take a look at this, actually. Uh, radio tower. Metal scraps. Three copper shards. Uh, copper shards. There's some clay shards I found. Granite shards. Gold shards. Tin shards. Copper shards. One, two, three. There we go. So those little sticky notes that were just randomly on stuff. I wonder if they're just randomly placed other places. Because, like, the note that I found up here was pasted to the side of this radio tower. So I'm wondering if we need to go back over to that island and look around more for them, and then that island there, where the plane is, because we might have missed something. Those notes are not the easiest <laughs> to see. So we'll add all the materials that we have here. Oh, we don't have the heat sink. Okay. So we need more screws in the heat sink. Okay. I thought we brought up the heat sink before. Maybe we needed two of them. Okay, so we need screws in a heat sink. Okay, let's go get them. Okay, so heat sink. Screws. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? We don't have enough. We don't have enough screws. Damn it. We have one screw. Okay, so I think I've got enough screws it's really hard to tell because it's so stinking dark i had to sleep because we're getting too tired but speaking of tired i also found one two three four tires while i was doing that so we're gonna go ahead and expand on this boat again while we're waiting it for it to get a little bit brighter outside i'm probably gonna just go ahead and move these log holders forward just because i want to make sure that we've got enough screws they really should add a light to the backpack. What the hell? No, 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 no. Can you, you can't come into water, can you? You get wrecked, you little savage bastard. Uh, but yeah, they need to add something there to where you can see it no matter what time of the day it is because it's kind of dark, kind of annoying. Cool. There we go. So let's see how much these log holders are real quick. One log and 12 large sticks. It's really not that bad. And boom. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. All right. Let's see all this bad boy handles now. 
or three long, three wide. This is nice though. I can actually see what's in front of us. That's the that's the first time it's happened. This definitely doesn't turn nearly as easily as it had been. It takes a lot more to get it to turn. But this is so nice. I can walk right up here. And I can just boop boop. Done. Cool. Alrighty. I might sleep for a little bit so it's brighter whenever we do this. And that way we can also see what's in our uh, our inventory. Okay, so finish this one off here. Heat sink, everything that's fixed. And then we got this one up here. Boom. Radio tower has been repaired. Cool. Well, now what? Is there anything in here? Radio tower. With the tower parts repaired, I only need to activate the tower with the key. What key? I don't have a key. Damn it. You know, that's probably what's going to be in this box down here, right? The stinking nitro box. But we've only got one number four so far. Let's go see how many more notes we need to find real quick. I think it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got to find five more. Damn. Well, I think that's what we're going to call for this episode. I really thought something else would happen there, but... So I just came over to get a screenshot for the cover for this video. And uh, this was literally right here on the side of the plane. So I'm going to take this so I don't forget about it. This is Logan Harper's note. And then we'll then we'll end the video. All right, cool. The crash, September 1st, 1985. If you're reading this, you must be as desperate as I am. Name's Logan Harper. We were flying, thinking everything was fine until that storm hit. The plane went down fast, faster than you can imagine. The stench of burning fuel and charred metal is something I'll never forget. Wreckage is scattered across several islands. I survived, but barely. When I came to, the stench was overwhelming and the sounds of children crying cut through the... Cut through the... something. It's been two days since the crash. The plane is still smoking. Too dangerous to go near. I found a few other survivors. A woman and three kids. I haven't bothered to learn their names yet. They look at me like I'm supposed to save them. And I resent it. Their fear is palpable. The kids constant crying pierces the air and the sight of their terrified faces smeared with dirt and tears makes my stomach churn. Right after the crash, I stumbled upon the wreckage and bodies. The sight and smell made me puke. The arid taste of bile lingering as I tried to gather my senses. My short-term memory is shot. I can't remember where we took off from or where we were heading. It's all a blur. I have a nasty concussion, and my head feels like it's splitting open. Only the long-term details stick. My wife. My family back home. Their faces are etched in my mind. A cruel reminder of what I've lost. I miss them terribly. The loneliness is suffocating. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series because I've been enjoying making it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>